Now, there's another executive order that was voted on last night that has to do with nursing homes. That's where we find Channel 3's Roger Suzanne, and he picks up this part of the story. Good morning, Roger. Good morning, Audrey. And yes, this extension has to do with nursing home employees. Originally, all employees at long-term health facilities, like the one where we're at here in South Windsor, were supposed to get the vaccine booster shot by today. But now, because of this extension, they've been given nearly another month to get their third shot. Now, late last night, the House voted to extend the booster deadline until March 7th. The decision is really important because some long-term care facilities worried that they would have major staffing issues if the original date was not pushed back. Republican leaders supported this extension, although some are already saying that nursing homes may need even more time. But at least this delay will give lawmakers a few weeks to monitor the COVID landscape before potentially enforcing this booster mandate. Now, back in 2020, of course, the coronavirus devastated many long-term care facilities across Connecticut. But health experts say the situation is certainly much better now, in large part because of the vaccine, and they hope that it will continue to improve going forward. Now, as part of this extension, it also impacts visitors to nursing homes until at least March 15th now. If you come and visit either a nursing home or a long-term care facility, you will still be required to prove to pr prove your proof of vaccination. Reporting live in South Windsor, I'm Roger Susanen, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, thanks, Roger.